What's going on YouTube? Anthony here. Time for a little firewood inventory for this year. Let's see what we got. This is my outbox. This is stuff that's ready to go. Anything that comes in dry, I just throw it in here instead of bringing it to the back. This is my smoker wood section. I got red oak, I got apple, and I got sugar maple. And I might bring in one more of these crates from over my shop across the street so I could do cherry. This is all my softwood, which did not sell this year. This is about three full cords. There's a little bit of mild hardwoods in there, some ginkgo biloba and stuff like that. Um, you know, maybe a couple pieces of silver maple, but all this stuff for outdoor burning. And these crates as well. This is more outpile, but this is also some softwood as well. Some Norway spruce mostly. And some of this is uh, a hydro pole that I chipped off all the pressure treated stuff on the outside and then got the nice good clean wood on the inside. So back here, this is where I started using skids in the wood yard because I always want to do smoker wood, but I never end up getting to it or sometimes anyway. So I just pile it up here, keep it up off the ground. So we got one more crate of softwood under here. And I guess that's going to be here for a while because this is my new set of season wood. So all these crates here, I've been emptied or these ones I've emptied because this had all my dry wood and I've started to fill them with uh, wet wood for next season. So that goes along with this. You can see the nice color in it. It's still got the color. It hasn't been weathered. So all this starting from here is going to be for next season. And then all this stuff going to go in these crates, different lengths. There's 14 inch. There's a little bit of 12 inch. There's the 14 inch crate. This one's 16 and the other one's 18 over there. This is all my dry wood. So I got how many here? Three, six, nine, 12 and 13. And then I got another th six here, so 19 and 19 and three quarters. So that's what I got left. So I've got almost uh, seven cords left, a little bit of dry sugar maple down there too. So that's all my firewood inventory for this season. And I've already sold a bunch, like I said, I've already sold all what you see here going across. That's all been sold. So that's how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So I've already sold nineteen crates, so that basically I had double in the section. And this is my inventory. If you guys have seen my channel before, uh, you've seen how much wood has come in. I've had this place filled from back here all the way up to just ahead of the boat, the the rear end of the boat. I've had the wood actually up past there, so I reduced that wood in the summer and then the wood just kept coming in i got lucky and i had wood coming in um dropped off to me a number of times some 30 yard bins and even here some of the rest of that was in that bin or those two 30 yard bins some sugar maple and some silver maple so all what i could i cut and i brought back here so there's nothing really here that needs to be bucked except for a few pieces here and there but this pile basically exists because of all of this springs pile and as you could see i've been reducing it as much as i can and i got some apple cherry in the back there's more cherry here there's a bunch of um, elm i'm not sure what elm this is is this slippery elm it's not that stuff that sticks like uh you know cotton ball fibers with uh fiberglass resin right it's not that sticky stringy stuff that grows like a, a snake pattern with a grain that just doesn't want to split you know so I'm not sure exactly what that is. I haven't really looked up too much on the elms. There's not too many of this kind of elm. It's usually the, the common elm, which in Canada we call American elm. You can see there's my silver maple. That's from before there too. And I've got some apple here. And over on this side, this is some newer stuff that's been added to this pile. And I guess, yeah, this is this row here. This is from the pile before. And then this is all added in here. And some of this came from this pile back here. Now, when I went and cleared up this whole lot, I had, I started bringing wood in. I dumped it here and I dumped it and I left it and more came in and more came in. I thought I'd process it, but all this wood was spread out here and I didn't have, um, I didn't conserve the space. And I ended up regretting that because uh, like I said, the wood was another 70 feet up that way. So I went and I cleared up this pile because I'm getting a bin to come back in here. 
a uh, second bin, a second 40 yard bin. I'll show you all of this pile here. This is almost six cords and this is gonna go in that 40 yard bin. So the bin's gonna lay down right here. I'm gonna load all the wood in by hand and I'm gonna make a video of that. Not using my conveyor. It's not the nice big long pieces that uh, one of my customers want. These are all 16 inch to 12 inch. So this is regular size. I'm not doing anything big. And I also say I'm not doing anything big because my other bin there, I put the boiler wood in there and that's big pieces too. So whether it's firewood for that one customer, the big pieces or the boiler wood, they're both big pieces overall. So this is regular standard firewood length that I'm gonna be loading into the bin all by hand in one shot. And I figure it's gonna take me about five hours. Now this pile or all these crates here, this is what I've started stocking this year since uh, the spring basically. So how many do I have here? I have, um, or there's three with just cutoffs, uh, medium size or the same size volume as the firewood. There's cutoffs up there. Some maybe a little smaller than uh, firewood pieces, but nothing too small because I bagged those up. So that's all loose. It's pretty tight in there anyway, but that's probably um, two and a half face cords, that whole row there. And then you have more face cords here. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and then minus about, this one's not full, so minus one and a half, I'd say. So that's about 22 face cords right there. And actually, you see I piled the wood on the top to make up for the fact that these crates, they don't hold a full face cord. So I piled as much as I can on top because the wood also shrinks down too. So you'd call each row is almost a bush cord or almost a full cord. So I'd say I have about 21 and a half um, or 22 and a half face cords here or 22 face cords roughly. And then going up to the rest of the wood here, There's my new motor for the conveyor. This has been fun trying to sort out. The last time I did the video where I loaded the 40 yard bin, I actually burnt out the motor on this and I had to load about two thirds of that load without the conveyor. So now I brought my gas one back out. I got a heavier, bigger pulley, which is gonna help slow down that motor because when I put this motor on, it was running the conveyor too fast. So it's gonna have enough power to power this conveyor because it's got the two chains in it. And I think that's what the problem is. The one I had before is a single chain and I used to have problems all the time with it, right? But this with the two chains, it's gonna help a little. And the other one I had, the chain would always break. So you'd always have to um, have fun trying to take out one of these links out. It was no fun at all. Well, back here, this is an example. These two crates, not the stuff right on, well, yeah, that stuff is uh, semi-dry, but, and some of this pile is actually spilled into there. So I gotta peel those out, but these two crates, this wood should have been ready to sell right now, but it's not ready because it has been blocked off with this wood here. It hasn't got the air circulation. So this wood is gonna need more time to dry. When this pile is in the bin, it's gonna get that another couple months. And then I'd say by January, then I'll be able to sell it. It's just the beginning of December right now. So January or February, those two crates are gonna be ready. I'm missing footage of me climbing up on the bin on the right to show you guys what's in there, but it's all big chunky boiler pieces. And in my last video where I got the free wood from next door, I finished filling off the bin with that and I sold and delivered this bin of wood already. Okay, so that's that and bonus, I have some smoker wood bags that I packed up over at my shop and I also sell smoker pellets. So that adds to my inventory and I figure I've got about another quarter of wood over there. So to calculate all that I have, there's six and six, 12 quarts. And then this I said was 22, so that's seven cords. So 12 and seven, 19. This is about three cords on the ground. Oh, I didn't show you back here. I already started restocking here as well. So what do I have here? This is probably another seven or eight cords. So that's what, 26. And then I have another three, and then four, five, six, and seven. So I have about 34, 32. No, I have about 34 cords altogether total. I've sold a lot. So a lot of that's gone that I had for this inventory. So it's not a full inventory. And like I said, I had wood all the way up here, probably another 10 cords that I had. And that pile kept fluctuating as well. But anyways, that's my firewood inventory for December. 2021 
here in the Woodyard, Ontario Firewood Resource. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.